Tell me about yourself. I am Pooja. I was brought up in Rajasthan, born in Rajasthan and brought up in Hyderabad. Okay. I am pursuing my degree in Pratibha College. Uh, I have a joint family of 15 members. Okay. That's it. Okay. What are your hobbies? My hobbies are uh, listen uh, like most in my free time I will do sketching. Sketching. Yeah. Uh, what are your long term and short term goals? My short term goal is that uh, I should be independent. Okay. I have to get a job. Okay. A uh, long term goal is that I should be independent on myself. I shouldn't depend on anyone. Okay. Do you know about uh, environments? Yes. Environments. Yes. How many environments are there? There are five environments. Five environments. Okay. Can you name them? Local, Dev, mm -hmm. uh, QA, Stage, and Production. Production. Okay. Uh, in production, what will be happen? In production, in production is the last stage when the the pro, uh, like a website or a application is made. That's the last stage when we are handling to the client. Handling to the client. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you know about uh, agile workflow? Can you explain? It? Agile workflow, I should agile, say. Yeah. And agile workflow first, it will be PO sign in. Okay. And then it is uh, ready for refinement. Mm -hmm. They will be given it to refinement process. Mm -hmm. And then it will be ready for development. Developer, it will be given to developer, developers for development. Mm -hmm. Then the development will be in the progress. Okay. Then it is given for the review, peer review. Mm -hmm. Then it is for uh, it is ready for QA. Then QA in progress. And then PO sign off close. Okay. Yes. Ready for refinement. What will happen? Who will involve? Who will involve like um, business analysis? Business analysis. Yes. That's it? Yes. Okay. What is uh, uh, EPIC? EPIC is the stage where the requirements will be, uh, lots of requirements will be taken. Requirement thing, requirements. Okay. Do you know about um, user story? Yes, user stories are the pages uh, which will be developed. Okay. Uh, it means like a login page where the user ID and password will be given. Okay. Those are the user stories. Login page. Yes. Uh, how will you test a login page? Uh, first, there will be positive testing and negative testing. Okay. If you have provided a password and user uh, user ID and password, first we'll try to the things. If the thing is going on proper way, according to the thing, uh, then it is okay. If it is not logging in, then it is negative testing then it is not a proper page like there is some defect or uh, bug in it okay uh, can you explain negative testing negative testing uh, for example uh, there is a name character of 1 to 50 150 characters okay if uh, we can take uh, two three four letters in the starting mm -hmm. and uh, in the end 149 150 151 and if the characters are between three, uh, 3 to 150, then there is a valid testing. If it is uh, like even allowing uh, when we are giving two letters or uh, 151 characters, if it is act accepting that, then it is negative testing. It is negative. Mm, do you know waterfall model? Yes. Can you explain waterfall model? Uh, waterfall model was the first model. Okay. It was a time consuming process. And there was lots of uh, problems in that. Advantages of waterfall model? Advantages? Mm. Uh, there was no, ad actually in that waterfall model we can't, on it was only useful for small projects. Okay. That was the advantage. It, it can't handle big projects and between that we can't add any requirements. Okay, that's a disadvantage. Yes. Do you know prototype model? Yes. Okay. Prototype model is like uh, it even call as dummy model. Okay. It's like first they will make a model of it, uh, not the real one, dummy model, and they will show to the client. If the client approves it, then they will make the real model of it. Okay. Uh, if you find it a defect, what would you do? If you find a defect, what would I do? Yeah. If, if we find a defect, then we will give it to the developers for developers the work will be assigned to the developers they will open that verify whether there is a bug or not mm -hmm. 
Okay. Then uh, they will, if there is any bug, then they will raise the bug. Then it will be given for the work uh, workflow. Then after that, they will again verify. They will open that thing and they will verify. If there is even the bug, uh, they will send again back to the development developers to develop it. If there is no bug in that, then if it is no bug, then it is done. Okay. Do you know regression testing? Sorry. Regression testing. Regression testing. Huh? It's okay. You, do you know unit testing? Yes, unit testing. Uh, it is done by the unit testers. Like it is done in uh, dev. Unit testers. Yes. Okay. Are you sure? It is done in dev. Yeah. Unit testing is done by the testers. Testers. Yes. Okay. Mm. Do you know Scrum meetings? Yes. Scrum Types of Scrum meetings. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there are Scrum meetings for the day uh, day process. Okay. Grooming calls mm -hmm. and uh, script scrum meetings. Script. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you know sprint duration? Uh, maximum uh, in most of the things, uh, maximum is of two weeks. Maximum of two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. It depends upon how the work is, how long the work is. Okay. But maximum is two weeks. Okay. Uh, can you tell the uh, responsibilities of Scrum Master? Responsibilities of Scrum, ma scrum, ma scrum Master? Uh, he have to look after every meeting okay. and he have to deal with uh, all the things, grooming calls. He have to manage the things. He is the one who will be dealing with if there is any problem uh, like uh, testers and development developers can't uh, handle the things like if there is any query mm -hmm. then the scrum master will look after those things okay do you know impediments what impediments mm, you don't know okay uh, do you know user story points yes yeah can you explain uh, user stories points are given by feminaki series okay those series are used because those series will having weightage those will be giving the weightage. Okay. Uh, is this workshop is useful for you? Yes, it was useful. How, how it will? Like they have given us uh, new things, new knowledge, which okay. we didn't knew about these things, testing developers, what happens in software sites. They have provided us this knowledge. So it was useful. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.